Hi, it's Denma. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Hot Topic haul. Technically it's two hauls in one. Um, I live out in the country so we have to drive about an hour to get to the closest Hot Topic and I had them drop ship a few things to the store so I'm just combining two into one. Um, it's mostly Funkos and hair bows. <laughs> just to let you know. Funkos are a thing that I collect. Obviously I got some right there. I've got a lot more over there. Um, where that curve is, I'm going to make a shelf and put some more up there. Um, I have most of them in packaging. Um, so let's get started with the haul. Hopefully I'm alright doing this. This is my first video, so don't be too harsh with me in the comments. Um, but yes, I do need some, um, constructive criticism, critiques, any tips, please let me know. I'm trying to look in the lens of my camera, and it's hard. And not to make eye contact, I keep wanting to look at the, the, the screen. But, anyway, and sorry for the makeup, it looks like trash. Um, it's really late at night here, it's almost midnight. Um, and I, I put this on at about 11 o'clock, so yeah. And you might see some of my cats come through. I have four of them. Uh, Quinn, Chekhov, Claudine, and Jellybean. So, you might see them. So, anyway, they'll be my little co-hosts. So, let's get started. Alright? Alright. Uh, okay, we're going to start with the Funkos. First one is Dirtan. From Warcraft, the new movie that came out. I play World of Warcraft. I am Horde. Um, I do have an Alliance character just so I could get some of the Alliance only goodies. Um, but I don't play that character at all. And, and it's Druid. His name's Alnon after Sh the Shannara Chronicles. So, yeah. I thought that was kind of funny. So, I got Duratan. And he's on clearance at Hot Topic for $7. So, if you want any of the Warcraft Funkos, all of them are on clearance. So, keep your eyes your eyes peeled for the deals, okay? Okay. Garona. I have the hardest time with her name because I keep wanting to call her Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy. They both have green skin. They're both hot. She has fangs. Anyway, um, I got her. And I was just going to get her. And then I happened to see Duratan. And I saw King Lane. And I'm like, well, where's Lothar? Because that's who I want. Um, so I had to get, that's one of the ones I had to get drop shipped to the store, and so. And then when I came back, I had to use my hot cash. I have $90 worth of hot cash to use, and I've used 45 of it, because you can only use 45 on a $30 purchase, or 15 on a, or $30, 15 on 15, something like that. Anyway, she was $7 as well, um. King Lane, here he is, he actually looks a lot like Lothar, except for the armor, I don't, so, um, but there he is, the only one I'm missing from this set is Ogram, and they did have him, but I didn't really care for, to get him or not, he wasn't really one of my favorite characters, but, um, I'm surprised they didn't make Cadgar or Medivh, um, that, that really shocked that we, that they didn't make it that because that would have made it an even eight or they could have made the queen too and made it an even eight set but whatever but anyway here's Lothar so, um, if you do want to ever play with me on WoW um, I'm on the Auchendown I guess that's how you say it server um, I play a uh, troll hunter named Tadara H-A-D-A-R-A -A -A. Um, I also have a paladin named Elijah um, another character called Rumbell, and another one called Bell Gold. So, one's a thief, uh, not a thief, but a, a rogue. <laughs> Might as well be a thief, because she's a pickpocket. Um, and I can't remember the other one's class. But I don't play them that much, I just wanted to claim the fandom names. Um, the next ones I have are from Star Wars. I've got three. Kylo Ren Unmasked. Um, 
I don't want the mask version because he's really calm and you see him everywhere. But I was able to get him. Um, so, yay. He's actually got a different base than all the other Star Wars ones. I actually have one more I lied. I have BB-8, but it's not in a Hot Topic haul. And they usually all have the, the black base, but he has a white base from where he was fighting with Ray and Finn in the snow. So that's pretty cool. Turn <laughs> details like that. Then since I'm a dirty little Kylux shipper, I got General Hux. Um, if you're a fan of Hux, grab stuff while you can because for some reason his stuff is getting very expensive. Like his action figures, um, the little smaller size ones are going for about 20 bucks, and the bigger detailed ones that are $19.99 usually are going for like 35 to 40 So if you happen to see him in stores or whatever, use your character, grab him because his value is increasing for some odd reason. But anyway, there he is with his little hat. He's got the black base. And I had to get Captain Phasma. She's all shiny. Um, she's not exactly chrome, but she is has a metallic finish. Um, she is quite heavy compared to regular Funkos. Her and the BB-8 are very heavy. They're like t two or three times as heavy as regular Funkos. I don't know. I thought it was just the Star Wars, maybe the bases, because... They were the first two that I had picked up, but after picking up Kylo and Hux, um, they're normal weight, so she makes a good paperweight too, and BB-8 as well. Um, I'm going to get, there's a General Organa one I need to get, and I also want to get Poe, but there's one with him without his helmet on. That's the one I want to get. I'm obsessed with people. I want to see their faces. <laughs> And of course, they didn't have one with her face. So, um, the next one I did, as the other thing I dropped shipped was the Monster High Claudine Wolf. Yes, yes, yes. I'm obsessed with Monster High. I have about 300 dolls. Um, between that, my Ever After High, and D Disney Descendants. I have this one. Um, they didn't have her in store, so I got them to drop ship. There's the ones that they have. Um, I did see Frankie and Dracula in store. I have not seen any of the other ones in store. So, if you're looking for these, um, just go up to Hot Top. If you don't want to order them offline, you can get them on Amazon. Just about anywhere, but ask the people at the Hot Topic counter. They can order them for you and deliver them to the store. I have a guest sneaking up. Queen. She's not used to the camera and the light. I have a ring light set up over there. It's too bright if I put it right in front of the camera. It it reflects too bad on the Funko, so I've got it kind of catty on the corner of my laptop, which I've got my little camera balanced on. So, oh. Anyway, and then uh, I've got the Hot Topic exclusive. Edward Cullen. This one, he's got sparkly skin. Um, you can't really tell on camera, but he's, his skin almost looks like it should glow in the dark, like that type of a plastic. Um, but there are silver sparkles in his skin. I will be getting the whole set, except for Jane. I don't care about her. But I'm still a Twilight fan. Um, I like Jasper the best, but, you know, nobody cares what I think about that. Um, I'm hope hoping they'll bring it out a second series with the family and Charlie maybe that would be really cool um so anyway got the Hot Topic exclusive Bloody Cassidy from Preacher um awesome comic book awesome TV show you need to watch it but I got him and they have a regular version as well if you're not into blood um they had all of these in store but if you go to Amazon.com, they're add-on um, purchases, and they're like $3.25 a piece. So, and I'm also seeing these at Target as well. But I'd rather pay $3.25 on Amazon. So, and that's why I'm waiting to do that next month. I've already had my Funko a lot for the month. And the last Funko I got was the Hot Topic exclusive Ariel. She's got a glittery dress, and it's kind of this 
clear plastic with the silver glitter in it. It's picking it up a little bit, not much. Won't focus that well, but there's other princesses. They did have Rapunzel um, with the flowers in her hair. That version and Cinderella and stuck, but I did not see the other two, Tiana or Belle. So you might have to go online for that. Uh, I knew I found Miko at Walmart for four dollars on clearance. So I'm thinking they're getting ready to vault Pocahontas. So you might want to come get those those kind of quickly. Just trying to help you fungo collector it out. All right, the next batch is going to be like the jewelry that I got. Let's see if I can separate it real quick. Maybe. They had a little bit of jewelry on clearance, but not a whole lot. Um. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Is there anything else? Okay. I think that's it. Okay, those are all most. Okay. I'm just trying to keep it separated a little bit. Alright, the first thing I got Jewelry Rise is this cute black heart beauty cat choker. It's got three snaps on the back, so it adjusts to pretty much any size neck. My neck is about eight and a half inches and it takes the middle snap. So if you're a little bit heavier than I am or a lot skinnier than I am, it should be alright. It's got a little silver kitty cat in the middle and it's just a cute little simple choker. Um, with the fake leather band. Um, this was $9.90. And then right now they have a sale going online. 20% off site wide. I do not know how long that sale is going to last. But you, this is online because I got this skew and everything. I had a list of stuff I wanted. And I went, I went through and got the stuff that I saw in store first. And then I was going to order some stuff. But I changed my mind. I was just going to save that and order it. At the beginning of the next month with my new batch of hot cash. Um, the second thing I got from Black Heart Beauty is this one was on clearance. Was this cute little bat and crescent moon necklace? The bat has black glitter on it. There you go, you can see a little bit picking it up. And then the crescent moon has blue and purple glitter in it. Mm can't really tell but it's there it's blue and purple um this was five dollars normally eight fifty um so i don't know if it'll be on clearance online or at your local hot topic but keep your eyes peeled if you're like that um i know online they had a set of bff necklaces that are with a set of bats or one bat per necklace and one was baby purple and a, like a lilac and a baby pink one and they were really cute and they didn't say BFF or anything like you would know it was a BFF necklace you just knew in your head it was and I really want to get that set as well because they were really cute next I got a little mermaid barrette it's got a like a teal tint to it and I've never seen a barrette shaped like that it's, it's called a wreath barrette um, this was $6.90. They also have an Alice in Wonderland, the animated one, like this, um, with Alice on it, and I think the Mad Hatter or the White Rabbit, I can't remember which one, but Alice and another character. So, that was pretty cool. I think it's really pretty. Can't wait to wear that out. Um, and the Little Mermaid thing I got was this. Um, this was on clearance. It was seven bucks it was normally let's see ten fifty it was the normal price um it's got aerial sit on a pearl and then it's got a purple colored um clamshell and then the fork or aka the dingle hopper and then it's got a charm that says there's a world where hopes and dreams can last so that I'm assuming you're supposed to exchange the charms out, but not me. I'm putting them all on here. 
why the heck not I mean really so anyway there's that uh, and there's nothing on the back of this it's just blank so there you go and there's a little bit of glitter detail on the fork there you can see it like that and the clamshell does not open don't try to open it or you'll break it. The last piece of jewelry that I got before I start with the hair bows is Once Upon a Time, the storybook. Let me take it out of the plastic so you can see it a little bit better. Um, I'm obsessed with this show. I ship from Belle, Snowing, and um, Captain Hook and the Little Mermaid because she saves his butt so many times. I'm not a big fan of Captain Swan, I'm sorry. Don't hate me, but anyway. This is the Once Upon a Time book. The camera won't pick up the detail, but it is very, very detailed. I mean, it looks like a miniature book. Um, it does open, there are blank pages in there. Maybe it's waiting for your fairy tale to be written. You might use it to jot down a note or two if you needed to. I mean, I wouldn't personally because if you rip the pages out, it'll go flat. It won't look a book anymore, but yeah, they do open. They are blank. It's a little, it feels like leather. It's not real leather. It's pleather or whatever. Um, and it's got a pretty long chain in the back. Um, this was $12.50. These are available online, so you can get this 20% off deal online if you wanted to. Um, they have quite a few in the store, so... Um, and I think it's a newer Once Upon a Time item. So check that out. I'm going to put this back in the plastic. So it doesn't get messed up until I wear it. I have a um, little case that I have all my necklaces in. Once I wear them, it's actually a bead sorter. I have three of them. But I put all my necklaces and my rings in it. Because I didn't know there was actually legit jewelry holders like that so cool <laughs> the more you know right <laughs> the last pile of stuff is hair bows I have them all in a bag all right I've worn one of them so Quinn is just deciding whether she wants to attack it stay over there stay over there First one I have is the Joker from Suicide Squad Joker. Their new font, ha ha ha. Um, I have a Harley Quinn shirt that I wore today that I got at Target. And I wear my hair in a bun a lot. And I just pop this right on top of the bun and it kind of like zazzes it up a little bit. Um, this also comes with a pin on the back so you can actually pin it. You have a t-shirt. This is a bean. So you got a t-shirt. It could be a little bow tie. You know, I don't know. Whatever you choose to do with it. But anyway. Ha ha ha. And the new Suicide Squad Joker. Suicide Squad. <laughs> Suicide Squad Joker font. I'm trying to look in this lens. It's not working. I'm sorry. If I'm not making eye contact. Eye contact through the lens. My bad. This is my first time. So, um, The next one is gorgeous it is the camera just, just didn't do this justice I saw this it was not on the list I did not see this online yesterday when I was looking through the hair bows um, it is a Beauty and the Beast the animated one um, hair bow it's got a royal blue um, bigger bow that has the characters like Lumiere and Cogsworth it's got the um, this rose in the glass um, icon and the rose by itself on this and then this actually is glittery gold fabric and it's got Belle and the Beast dancing in a silhouette then you of course you have the rose and then the magic rose in the glass so if you're a fan of Beauty and the Beast once upon a time or Disney's or if you're excited for that new live action Beauty and the Beast, pick this up. It's only $9.90. Only $9.90. You, it's, it's just gorgeous. Any Disney collector would love to have it. I mean, it's probably the prettiest bow that I've seen 
ever. So, and I have a bunch of them. Um, next one I got is the Cheshire Cat, the animated version. He's got a little bit of floof right there. It's actually feathers, some type of feathers. And then he's got his little cat ears and his tail. So he was there. They only had one of him left. So I think this one's about to go out of, uh, not style or print. I guess they're going to start making these soon. Or they're going to come out with another type. So if you're a fan of the Cheshire Cat, this is the good one to get. Then I have, because I'm a crazy cat lady, Marie from Aristocats. Got little ears. Again, another little piece of floof. A little bow. And it's the pink and white, which is their colors. Um, I'm going to wear this with my Pixie Locks sh shirt. It's okay to be pretty or to feel cute. That shirt she's got, um, it's one of her cats. It's a white cat, little pink nose and pink ears. Pixie Locks is a, a YouTuber that I think is adorable and you need to check her out. If I think to, I'll link her, um, information below. I'll also try to link all this stuff, if possible. I'll try. But if not... It's all a hot topic. <laughs> um, next is Evie. Uh, I don't know why Evie is like the brand Pokemon or whatever. Us I mean, I usually, obviously, it's going to be Pikachu, Bulbasaur, and Charmander because they're the starters and Squirtle. But Evie, and I guess because all the evolutions, um, is the main one. I will go good with my Evolutions purse and wallet. It's got little fur around. It's actual fur, not feathers. Black satin. And this has Evie prints on it. You can see it. Evie silhouettes. So, yeah, this is I think this one's a new item. So, you should be alright with that. So, this one is Loki. Obviously. We've got the horns, the helmet. Um, this one isn't available at Hot Topic anymore. They do have another one that's on clearance that is getting ready to soon not be available anymore. Um, very similar to this one, except this part has this helmet in gold right around the edges. And it's on clearance right now, so if you're a fan of Loki, um, pick that up. Um, like I said, this one isn't available on HotTopic.com anymore. It may be through other retailers. I'm not sure. But, anyway, there you go. And the last three are Once Upon a Time ones. First one is going to be the dark one, Rumpelstiltskin. And he's got his dagger. There's actually a sticker that says Rumpelstiltskin on it. You can't, the camera can't pick it up, but it's there. Then you've got a painted on crisscross of string. It's not actual string, it's just a painting. Um, then you have the crocodile fabric. It's not real leather. It's, it's fake, obviously. So, anyway, they do not have an Emma Swan or a Killian Darkwing Dagger bow. I don't know if they plan on doing that. They do have a Zelina one. They do have an Evil Queen Regina one. I haven't gotten those two yet. But they are available. Um, the other ones I do have. So, the next one to go with Humble Silk Skin or Mr. Gold is my lovely bell one. It's got the bell, it's got the blue stitching from her dress, blue stitching, the brown stitching from her dress, and then it's got white with a little bit of lace trim, and it also has the chips teacup charm. Now when I saw this online I thought it was just a silver charm because I have a silver necklace with the charm, that's like an inch, um, that I got, but it's actually painted white and blue just like in the show. They do have a replica of the chipped teacup online for like eight something. I think it's on sale. Um, it is not the size of a teacup though. It is actually like twice the size of a normal mug. 
So, it's like a soup, it's like more like a soup dish. And they don't say you shouldn't use it for actually, if you're going to use it a lot, it's not recommended. Because it does have that gold trim and that will flake off. So, I just use it to put pencils or something in, in the house. And the last one I was able to get my paws on was Captain Hook. Obviously with this little hook. And then the fabric. The red has the little designs that you see on the inside of his um, trench coat, his pirate coat, and on his vest. Then you have the dots that are kind of reminiscent of the studs. They're painted on there. It's not actual gems or studs. So, nothing to fall off. All you have is the little hook. And then the detailing on the fabric, which I can't get the camera to pick up very well. But it's there. I'm sorry. My camera sucks. And that completes this first Hot Topic haul. There will probably be many more in the future. I go to Hot Topic a lot. <laughs> so, um, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe if you want to see my progress in this channel. Watch me grow. Um, also, make sure you click that bell as well because you have to double subscribe now. I don't know. YouTube's silly. So, anyway. Bye, YouTube. I hope you're having a nice night or day wherever you are. Stay safe. Mwah. I mean, do it into the camera. Mwah. Bye bye. Can I have a hug? Yes, hugs. This is Den Masani Hall. Bye.